All right, so let's look at another one here. Uh, we're going to solve triangle ABC. I give you that A is 21.5 degrees, B is 104.2 degrees, and C is 57.4 in length. So again, I'll just sketch a generic triangle here. Let's see here, A is 21.5, B is 104.2, and C is 57.4. Um, taking a look at my generic triangle, I don't think that's going to fit too well at all. So let's see if we can adjust this. Let's make one angle 21.5. The other one has to be 104.2, so this is actually going to be an obtuse triangle. So let's do something like that, okay, where we call this A, this B this C. So A is 21.5 degrees, B is 104.2 degrees, and let's label our sides A, B, and C, which is 57.4. All right. Does the law of sine still work if it's an obtuse triangle? Absolutely. Yes, it still does. Um, you know, we just rotate it and draw the altitude this way, and we're good to go. Um, so, what should we find first? I think that missing angle is what we should find first. So I'm going to take 180 minus 21.5 minus 104.2, 54.3 degrees. All right. Okay. Now let's find a side length. And I'll just pick whatever side length. I'll just start with side length A. We're going to go A over the sine of angle A, which is 21.5 degrees, is equal to, all right, now what side length do we know? We know side length C, so we're going to say 57.4 over the sine of angle C, the sine of 54.3. All right, solving for A, we'll just have to multiply by the sine of 21.5 degrees on both sides, we get A is 57.4 sine of 21.5 degrees over the sine of 54.3 degrees. Excellent. So let's see what that gets us. point nine. All right, one more side length to uh, find, and that would be B. So we're going to set up B over the sine of angle B is equal to, again, we want to use the side length that we know is um, exact, which is 57.4 over the sine of 54.3. Multiply each side by the sine of 104.2. And we get B equals 57.4 sine 104.2 over the sine of, whoops, 54.3. All right. There we go. 68.5. There we go. And that makes sense to me, right? Isn't our longest side uh, opposite our biggest angle? That's what we have. We have our shortest side opposite our, our smallest angle. So if I do just a quick mental check, I feel pretty good about that. All right, so where are we at here? Well, we have solved a couple triangles using the law of sines. Now take a look at the information that I've given you in both of these. In both of these problems, I've given you two angles and one side length. Two angles, one side length. Well, is that the only information that I could give you on a, uh, a triangle for you to solve it? And the answer to that is no, it's not. So um, I'm going to stop this video here because in my next video, I'm going to go into a lot more detail about the other pieces of information that we could get. Okay.
Thanks for watching.